The intervals are relative, meaning it's not something we would precisely tune. For example, it wouldn't be an exact C, but rather relative. So, how do we practice? The mezrab in our right hand is completely right and left, and the movement of our left hand on the frets, how does it work with the first, second, and third fingers? So, when the practice saka starts, it goes like this. The second fret with the first finger, the fourth fret. With the first finger, the fifth fret. With the second finger, and the seventh fret. With the third finger. Each mezrab means we alternate between right and left. This right and left alternation continues in our right hand, repeating as follows. Two, four, five, seven, two, four, five, seven, two, four, five, seven, one, one, two, three, one, one. Right, left, right, left, right, left. We continue down like this. Four, five, seven, nine, four, five, seven, nine. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Then similarly, five, seven, nine, ten, seven, nine, ten, twelve. So how should it be? Continuity is very important. Keeping the rhythm precise is very important. We shouldn't just play randomly. The metronome is very important in this practice. If it is supposed to be played slowly, the metronome should be set correctly. If it is supposed to be played faster, the metronome should be set correctly and played accurately. The right and left should be completely separated. We shouldn't make this mistake. It should be completely right left, right left, right left, right left, right left. Right left, right left, right left. Later, when our right and left hands are synchronized and our left hand gains more skill, we can perform it at a higher speed and with a higher metronome setting. All right, uh, now we will incorporate the Mezrab Shur into the exercise we just did. That means we will play the same exercise with the mezrab short, making it more rhythmic and precise. The next exercise involves a movement where we place our fingers from top to bottom in the sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, meaning the first finger, first, second, third, moving from top to bottom. The next exercise is the reverse of this finger placement. How does the form of our fingers change? It becomes 2, 3, 2, 1. Now, I will perform it once, and here an additional phrase is added. When we are supposed to play the next exercise, we play up to the 12th fret, which is now 9, 10, 12, and 14. Right, left, right, left, placing the third finger on the 14th fret. Now, the reverse and the new exercise become 12, 14, 12, 10, which means 2, 4, 2, 10. Finger placement is 2, 3, 2, 1, right, left, right, left. And in the same way, we go up. The second finger comes to the 10th fret. Then it becomes 10-2, 10-9. Now, it continues to go up. 9-10, 9-7, 7-9, 7-5, 5-7, 5-4, 5-4, And in the same way, it comes down again. So we need to practice this exercise a lot. This exercise is one of those that, later on, when we achieve full proficiency in playing, we use more for warming up our hands 